Chris, how you doing? How you doing? I'm good. Hey, you've uh, we've seen you come up with some different ways to, to try to distract the return guys a little bit. Um, got some creative ways about doing that. Or where have you come up with those different ways? And are there any things that like, you haven't sprung on them yet? Uh, well, I kind of started those things uh, actually when I was at Memphis uh, with the water guns and. Uh, with the tennis balls, just trying to do anything I could do to kind of distract them and get their minds off uh, catching the ball, kind of get them to concentrate on the ball more. Um, anything I can think of, anything that, uh, anything new that I see, you know, that can help our guys out, that's what I'm going to try to do. Yeah, Coach, I asked uh, Coach Norvell this, and I ask you, just kind of what your thoughts on Lawrence and kind of his development uh, throughout the spring. Uh, I think he's doing a good job. Uh, definitely, he's, he's gotten stronger. Uh, definitely getting faster. He's a really mature kid. Uh, he's getting a better understanding of the offense overall. And one thing about him, you could put him anywhere. Uh, he's going to be a matchup problem. Uh, we can split him out, put him in the backfield. Uh, whenever we put the ball in his hand, he's going to make something happen. And uh, he continues to get better. He wants to get better. He knows he's a long way away. But uh, he wants that, and I think uh, he's going to continue to get stronger and kind of put on more weight, more muscle, and uh, he's going to help us out for the long haul. All right, that could be Eugene Williams. Hey, Coach, I want to ask you, we saw it last season, a lot of the backs are catching balls out of the backfield. You see them practice a lot. How important is that uh, skill to teach these guys to be able to effectively catch the ball consistently and make plays? Uh, after the catch, and how are your guys developing so so far along those lines? I think that's really important for the game uh, at this point. That's what the game is coming to, uh, with so many backs being able to have that ability to catch the balls out the backfield. And that's something we work on. We kind of pride ourselves on that, uh, getting the ball to the playmakers in space. And I think the kids are doing a good job. We emphasize that on a daily basis with these kids. And that's the way they're going to get on the field. And uh, we, we can't just use one or two backs. And as you've seen in the past, even with this, the season that just passed, we're going to use at least four or five backs. If you can catch the ball out the backfield, that's a plus for us. Uh, Jay Sean actually have a, uh, obviously had a nice scrimmage the other day, and then Trayshawn Ward the week before. How have you felt like your group has done so far in the first couple scrimmages? I, I think we are uh, progressing week by week. We're coming along. Uh, Thank Jay Sean right now. I wanted to really see him get tired. I wanted to see him kind of play through some adversity. And I told him that before the scrimmage. I wanted to push him a little bit. And I thought he did a good job catching the ball off the backfield. Uh, I really want him to improve a little more, probably on his pass protection. That's one of the things that he'll talk about, uh, being a little more aggressive without the ball. But that definitely he's improving, uh, definitely catching the ball off the backfield. And I thought he did a good job of making people miss in the open field. And obviously, Trayshawn Ward did a really good job the week before. And uh, we're really pleased with him. Coach, I want to ask you, he's only been on campus uh, for a couple months, but DJ Williams, I mean, how, how is he progressing so far? How far along is he compared to where he needs to be? I think he's coming along. I think he's fitting in the room well with those guys. Uh, they accepted him in the room. He's a hard worker. Um, he's starting to understand the offense. It's going to take him uh, some time because we play extremely fast. Uh, we're throwing a lot at him. But one thing about him, uh, he's a student of the game. And right now, uh, he's just trying to, trying to catch, catch on to everything. And he's trying to uh, have the ability to play fast. But I think DJ is going to be all right. You know, uh, it's a process for him right now. And I understand that. So right now, I'm just trying to make sure he know exactly where to line up. He knows his assignment and allow himself to play fast. Coach, this is more not necessarily about your group, but just the, the team. This has got to be the hard part of the spring where you're like three weeks in and spring game still a couple weeks away. How have you seen the guys kind of kind of fight through that, uh, just physically and, and mentally? I think today was you know, one of those days that the kids did a good job. I think they're enjoying the process. That's one thing about this group, and Coach Norvell keeps saying it. We enjoy coaching these kids. Uh, they're enjoying the process right now. Although we had a hard scrimmage on Saturday, it was a long scrimmage, a long day. We come back two days later. But the kids did a great job today. They want to get better. They want to be coached extremely hard. And they, they, they enjoy the process every day. You know, they want to get better. So that's what I'm enjoying. We all enjoying coaches, coaching this team. Be, uh, 
Coach, you know, all eyes seem to be on the quarterback and the quarterback competition, but when you look at the roster, especially on offense, you talked about all the guys you have in the backfield. It seems like the running game's a real strength. How do you guys find kind of the balance to, to let a quarterback battle happen, but also kind of try to get the reps you want for your guys? And how important will it be for the, for the run game to, to kind of find its footing here? And is, can you form an identity this early on for your offense? I think we have to. Uh, we we want to run the ball, and that's that's one of the main things with Coach North Valley. He'll tell you that. That's that's the thing that we want to do. We want to be a run first team. Uh, we want to uh, have that identity. We want to be a tough team. And our running backs uh, is going to whoever in there. They have to do their job. And first, the quarterback, uh, Coach Dillingham, and Coach Norvella kind of take care of that. Whoever in there, they have to do the things that they need to do to kind of have the offense move. And I think they've been those guys have been doing a good job. Uh, but first, the running backs, I think um, they understand their roles. And whoever in at the time, they have to make sure they're doing the things they need to do to be successful. We've been able to watch some of those uh, pass protection drills with your guys and the linebackers. And uh, I mean, Gaynor and Dix and some of those guys, they're a load and they're coming hard. How have your guys handled it so far? How do you feel like they're, they're coming along in that area? I think that's um, one of the most uh, challenging drills that you can have. And I think uh, we accept that. And guys like Corey Wren, uh, LT, that's tough on those guys. And they want to uh, become better uh, pass protectors. And those are only the drills that's going to kind of make those guys become better pass protectors. I think Sheffield is probably one of the better pass protectors that we have, him and Jay Sean. So going against guys like that on a daily basis is only going to make us better. All right, thank you.